Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about how to talk to a guy. So uh, if you're struggling to figure out how you should be talking to guys, then this is for you. Um, so first, let's talk about what you shouldn't do. So let's talk about what doesn't work. So one of the big things that doesn't work that women do all the time is they try to do guy topics, right? Like I get women that are like, hey, I don't want to learn guy topics to talk to guys. And the great thing for you is that you don't need to learn guy topics because guy topics are not attractive. I mean, it can be like a plus, you know, if, if uh, you can talk about sports and a guy's into sports, uh, it can be a plus. If a guy's not into sports, then he definitely doesn't want to hear about sports from you. Um, and, and here's the thing, though, even if he enjoys talking to you about sports and you're into sports, um, it's not something that he's going to be attracted to you for. It's just going to be an addition. Um, so the second thing is talking like a guy. So a lot of times women will like put guys down because they see guys like putting each other down all the time. And that's not attractive at all. And if you do it a lot, that can be really unattractive. So, uh, I mean, if you do it once in a while, it can be cute, but it's just, if you're like, guy, they call them guy chicks, like women that, that, you know, talk like guys and they call them guy chicks. Guy chicks only attract feminine guys and they usually end up in the friend zone with most of the guys that they like. So, um, if you want a guy to like you, avoid guy, uh, talking like a guy. Next is relying on commonalities. Commonalities can be a really good thing to build a friendship, but, um, and, and it can be a good thing to have a conversation about, but don't rely on those topics to get a guy to be attracted to you because he's not going to be attracted to you. He might feel closer to you as a friend. Um, it could bring him closer to you in a relationship, but he won't be attracted to you for your for commonalities. So just remember that. And the last thing that you don't want to do is place expectations on them. And, and a lot of women do this all the time, and it's really painful for everyone involved. And that's um, trying to get a guy to respond a specific way when you talk to him. Um, and uh, like getting upset when he doesn't respond the way that you want him to respond um, is just so unattractive. I mean, it is really, really unattractive, and it could ruin your relationship. It could ruin your chances with a guy. So just avoid the whole expectation thing altogether. Just let go of it. So what does work? What works is telling stories. Stories are really, really powerful, and, and um, they can connect you with a guy. They can connect you with his heart. They can make him feel uh, all kinds of powerful things towards you. They can uh, help you capture his heart and make him just fall in love with you. And so the things that you want to talk about with stories are, one, your values, right? So find stories that convey things that are important to you in your life. That can be really powerful. The second thing is um, tell stories about things uh, that you have had in your life, th things that have happened in your life that are exciting. Um, guys are attracted to women who have interesting lives, exciting lives. And, um, you know, so when you tell a story about something that's interesting in your life, you're conveying an attractive trait to him. And the last thing that you'll want to tell stories about is anything that conveys that you are feminine, right? So like the nurturing or caring side of yourself, that can be just so powerful. And uh, subconsciously, even if a guy doesn't recognize it consciously, subconsciously, he can, uh, he'll hear that story and he'll think about how, um, how he could see you as being a life partner to him because of that feminine side. You'll see that polarity and he'll experience it and be like, wow, that's really cool. And it can put you in that relationship category for him. Uh, so the second thing that you'll want to talk about is his uh, passions, right? So figure out what he's passionate about. And a lot of women find that it's hard to get guys to open up. Usually if you can get him to talk about his passions, he'll talk about that forever. So um, just get him talking about his passions. And uh, that can be incredible. I mean, just really, really attractive 
for a guy to just start babbling on about his passions. It sounds ridiculous, but it, it can be really, really attractive for him. He'll feel closer to you, more connected to you, um, if he can feel open about being able to talk to you about his passions. And then the last thing is talking about fun and exciting things that you're going to be doing. And, um, you know, this goes back to having an interesting life. You know, men are attracted to women who have exciting lives. And, um, you know, a lot of times I'll get women who say things like, I don't want to start doing those things until I find this partner. Well, a guy is going to meet you and he's going to look at you. And if he's the type of guy that wants to do those things and he sees that you're not doing them yet, um, he's not going to be convinced that you want to do them and he's not going to be convinced that you're the right woman for him. But if you're already out there doing those things, doing exciting and cool things, and you're talking about them and talking about doing them in the future, then he's going to be a lot more attracted to you and want to be a, a lot more involved in your life. So that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.